What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Hey, so if you missed my video yesterday or the day before yesterday, you missed out on something. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal, but I did have a real robbery situation. I just bought a house in a gated community and we had some workers there. And one of the workers, I guess he's not doing well. You know, he's on drugs, things like that. I mean, I'm not there to judge him or whatnot, but he stole some stuff from my brother, a chainsaw, he stole the pressure washer from me, and he stole my dolls that were left at the house. I was making some videos on these dolls. A lot of you um, already started naming the dolls, so the dolls had some good sentimental value to me. I ended up not getting my stuff back the very next day, but I am happy to report I am getting it back today. Now, they were kind of trying to screw me over and not trying to come out here and making up excuses. And yesterday I just kind of laid it on them. I was like, look, you have until five o'clock today. I want my stuff back at the pawn shop. Um, my dolls were actually in their car. The pawn shop wouldn't take them. So they did leave my dolls here at the pawn shop. And I mean, yeah, they were just making up all kinds of excuses and I got them to come out here. Now yesterday I was kind of busy so I wasn't able to pick the stuff up. Well, I'm really happy that I get to now. My brother's really happy too. He's right there. He's here to collect his chainsaw. It was like a thousand dollar chainsaw and they took it. And it sucks because he was using this to make money and work and he was doing some work at my property as well. They pawned all of that stuff for $300 and they didn't have the money to get the stuff out of the pawn shop i think they thought that i was gonna pay for it and i told them look i know you don't have money but it's either i'm gonna go to the cops or you need to come bring my stuff back or, or get my stuff out of the pawn shop the pawn shop had told me only they can get the stuff out or the police so i kind of threw that on them and i was like look you have until five o'clock i'm gonna get the police involved you know, do whatever you can, call a family member. I mean, I hate to be like that, but you stole from me. I was already nice not to call the police. And I even I, I even gave them some gas money to come out here. So, I mean, that's the nice guy that I am. I mean, I'm very forgiving. I don't like when people steal from me. I don't like people that steal, period. However, I'm very forgiving. I don't know. Let's go get my stuff, though. What do you say? Hey, what's up? Good. Um, I guess they left the dolls behind and the pressure washer. They, they, did. they left everything here. Okay, good. Um, Thanks for holding on to the dolls for me. Yeah, yeah. Dolls yeah, it was three like bridal dolls. Yep, that's them. Yeah. There's Abigail. How you doing? Hopefully, they didn't break. That girl was literally crying. Was she? I felt, yeah. I, mean, uh, I don't think she knew what she did. No. Well, that's what they say, but... Yeah. I'm sorry, uh -huh. man. You don't, you don't walk in with that kind of stuff and not know. Yeah. She said that he, he said that nobody was going to be looking for her. Uh, she, she, she's pretty emotional, though. Hey, what's up, man? How uh, you doing, buddy? Pretty thanks. Good, good. Let me get this stuff in the car here. Yeah. All right. There's my pressure washer. Now, you can see here that... Yeah, it had the little twisty tie right there. Hey, thank you guys for being yeah, cool. No yeah. They pawned our stuff, dude. Yeah, dude. That's a big chainsaw. Bro, this is money right here, bro. Look at, this. Look at the size of that bar. Yeah. This ain't no little boy stuff. I told you it was bent. Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, they even had stickers on there. But, hey, Big Shot, wow, they were going to sell it for what? Is there a price on there? No, they don't put a price on it. Oh, either. they don't? Okay. Big shout out to Prestige Pawn and Jewelry in Spring Hill. These guys are awesome. They didn't have to hold on to my dolls for me. So that was... That was nice of them to take them in. If you're wondering like why we didn't meet with the people here, I, I had some stuff I was doing yesterday. I was at this, I don't know, I don't know if you want to call it a sanctuary. It's, it's like an animal sanctuary. It's called Animal Crossings. And I'm, I'm putting together a really nice video on it. I'll explain a little bit more about that later, but I don't want to get off subject. But anyways, I was there the entire day. It was like an hour away in like Floral City or Bushnell, Florida. It's kind of like out in the middle of nowhere in the swamps of Florida. Pretty cool place. But yeah, this pawn shop closes at six. And I told them, look, I want my stuff. If you can't bring it today, like 
like I said, I'm gonna call the cops, leave my dolls at the pawn shop, and, and that's why I was mentioning the, sh the pawn shop, like being cool for holding on to my dolls, but there's my dolls right there. I'm not even gonna complain that the little stands are missing. I mean, honestly, that, that's like the last thing. I mean, at least I have my dolls back, and I got my pressure washer. I love that pressure washer, and I just bought it. Like, it's not, it's not that old. I, I don't know why I was missing a screw, though. It was probably, you know, manufacturer's defect or something. Or maybe I, I lost a screw or something. I have no idea. But anyways, it's a great day today. I hope you're having a great day. I know I already said that, but I really do hope you are having a great day. On one of my previous vlogs, I went to my dad's house. My dad is doing a lot of renovations, kind of like I'm gonna be doing here pretty soon. And I wanted to show you kind of before and after. That was about a month ago. And he's still working on the house, but it's coming along pretty good. A lot of things are done already. They have the cabinet guy over there. I'm gonna see how he's doing because I might need him to do my kitchen cabinet. So let's go ahead and go to my dad's house. What do you say? All right, so I am back at my dad's house. You can see the flooring has been put in. This is like one of those floating floors and they're, they're putting the cabinets in over there. This wasn't open before too. They opened this up. They're gonna do like a, like a breakfast bar Another change is he sealed up a door right there and there was also a door over here. And this flooring is throughout the house. I am upset about one little tiny thing. They had a bathroom over there and they took it out. But they have a bigger room now and what they did is there was another bathroom over here and they made it a part of the master bedroom. And there was also this really odd jacuzzi I thought it was actually kind of cool, but they took it out, they put concrete on the ground, and they're going to make this into a giant closet. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update. You can see where they closed off the door, right there. They're going to redo this bathroom at a later time, but you can see it has like the tub and shower combo, and this flooring isn't bad either. This was the original flooring. That's my little brother, in case you're wondering. That's that's Matthew. Hey Paco, how you doing? How you doing? My dad lives on this massive lake. I mean, it doesn't look massive right here. This is kind of like the, the canal to it, but it's right over there. It's a huge lake. I am pretty certain there are some sea monsters in here. Oh, look at this. It has like a dock. It doesn't look very safe though. Let me know if you see any gators. This is gator heaven right here. That dock has seen better days over there. Yeah, my dad's gonna clean up a little bit of this. I actually kind of like lily pads in the water. Yeah, you can see the lake right over there. Wanna go for a swim? I'm not jumping in there. No? Why not? Um, I found a black snake going right towards me, trying to chase me. A black snake? That's That was probably a water moccasin. What is up fam? It is really early in the morning. Had to go to sleep really early last night, but we didn't go to sleep really early last night and we woke up really early this morning. That's my friend Jenny back there, AKA Jenny the fam. Hey guys, how are y'all? So how was your trip to Florida? It was great. Um, it was too short and I don't want to go home, but I got to because I got to be responsible, so. First time she ever left her dogs. Yeah, they're acting crazy. So I gotta go home and relieve my crew that's taking care of them, so. She was gonna stay a little bit longer, but her mom was like, you need to come home, your dog bit me. Is that how your mom talks? She probably talks like you, huh? Yeah, she talks kinda like me. Talk we sound mom. a lot alike. She was gonna stay, we were gonna book her another flight, like for another week from now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she's like, no, I, I gotta get home. She was crying. She was like, I don't want to go. Home. Melissa had someone to hang out with while I was in Canada, which was nice. Fun fact, Jenny, it was the it was the first time she's ever been in an airplane. Wow, well, a large. Airplane. Oh. Yeah, like, I've been in a small one. Oh, well, that doesn't count. No. But Not like what? Like how small? Like um, just a little Cessna. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it was bumpy, but it wasn't um quite as dramatic. These things are dramatic. Ugh.
be back. Maybe October. You have a safe flight. Go give your dog some love. Bye. Take care. I was trying to think of something embarrassing to say, but it's too early in the morning. Check this drive out. This is historic Floral City. And they have this, I don't know, it almost looks like it would be a haunted house or something. It's like a heritage museum. I love all these old trees with the moss. What are those called? Mossy oaks? Mossy oaks. It's like an old school charming town, something you see like in the movies and stuff. So I guess my friend James is coming into town. It could be tomorrow. So yeah, hopefully in my next video, you will see my boy James. We're gonna make some cool videos together and have a good time. It's always fun when James comes around and we get together and I don't know, got some stuff planned though. It's gonna be, I was gonna say fun again. Well, I'm getting really tired. I, I mean, it's still really early in the morning. I got some stuff to do today. So I'm gonna end this video. It's kind of like a, I don't know, I, I didn't end my video yesterday. I was doing some editing and stuff, but I do appreciate everybody's kind words and everybody praying that I got my stuff back. I'm so happy that I did get my dolls back and my pressure washer and my brother's chainsaw. And I just had so many of you guys showing love on my last video, so thank you so much for that. I gotta go, but before we leave, give me a kiss. Peace.